Hello, I'm Vitaly from Belarus. <clears throat> it's a small country between Poland, Russia, Lithuania, Ukraine. Uh, today I will show some opportunities how we can improve our performance and quality of life uh, with uploading to Wikimedia Commons and uh, uh, operating with Wikimedia Commons and a few other useful, interesting stuff. A little bit about myself, it's my user page in Commons. Uh, uh, I uploaded many, many thousands of items and my current uh, hobby for this year is uploading from moneymuseum.by, it's a Belarusian museum of uh, old money, bonds, documents. Uh, it's uh, high quality scans, you see sizes, uh, 5 megabytes, sometimes 10 megabytes in good resolution. Uh, even, even right now it's one of the browser extensions for Firefox, also for Google Chrome. I use it for many years when on mouse hover you can see in high resolution images, also zoom somehow. You see uh, good quality. Uh, uh, oops, sometimes it's disconnect. I don't know how to fix this. Uh, this is, uh, I created on commons category of this uh, museum. It's uh, and thousands of items already here and still I need to upload thousands of items. It's everything in one category, but uh, of course uh, every item also have uh, special categories, subcategories uh, for country, for if it's money, uh, size uh, of uh, this banknote, for example, it's 25, uh, 25 Soviet uh, Banknote. Of course, sometimes we have already uploaded, especially money, it's popular content, but uh, and sometimes I think, should I upload the same image or not? But sometimes I upload because uh, uh, sometimes it's have higher resolution and uh, without this uh, like watermark, like example, fake money, because on this website we have pure good scans. Uh, it's my stats, you can see total counts, 16,000 uh, registered many years ago, uh, 61 gigabytes uploaded, uh, also 5 gigabytes of audio, because I know a special music group, art project Complex Numbers, it's, it's special that uh, they uh, produce uh, with Creative Commons music, interesting music with interesting texts, and also provide sources for this music and opera. So it looks like it's the first uh, art project on this planet that have uh, open source operas, operas, and m maybe not the first, but still it's very very small percentage of music groups, art groups that provides sources for audio editors uh, about their songs. It's also an important project for me. Uh, also, okay, I just want to mention what, what we did. Uh, we, we have in Belarus, we have this website of my friend and it's many, many, many photos of Belarus uh, shot at just on smartphone. But many, many photos like this, like Google Street View, nothing, nothing special, but uh, for me it was important to save these photos and uh, after many, many communications about license, I said, hey, please, uh, you know, creative comments, such stuff, and uh, finally, it, uh, it's a big win for me, finally, uh, this, my friend, uh, said this creative comments mark to this website, and uh, uh, my girlfriend uh, uploaded more than 100 gigabytes from this website, almost a year of work, you see it, uh, images, uh, yep, 
it was it's a big interesting project. It, it's still and still this my friend still shot still produce uh, photos of Belarus and other countries. Denis Blish, big content creator. Uh, okay, now main topic of this lecture. It's about JavaScript and CSS. As you know, in browsers, uh, we have browsers extensions like this at the top right in any browser. We can install, for example, something that can block advertisements on any website and many, many other browser extensions. It's popular, I love them, and uh, I spent a few years developing browser extensions for as, some, as my main job and as a hobby. And uh, also maybe you heard such term user script. It's almost the same. If, if, if you have user script, you can add manifest.json and you will get browser extension. Browser extensions have more opportunities, uh, more permissions. For example, with browser extension, we can add uh, in context, uh, context menu in browser some menu item that will do some action. But generally, user scripts also it's, can be useful. So in preferences in Wikipedia, in Commons and other uh, projects, we have gadgets. And uh, here it's a pretty big page with uh, actually just scripts that we can enable. I recommend everybody to check this list. Maybe it will have something useful for you, for your cases. Uh, also, you can click uh, and read more about them. And uh, we have even bigger pages with user scripts also for Wikipedia and uh, Commons, other projects. It's a much bigger list. And uh, as I read, uh, after some years, if user script is popular, they can move this user script to um, gadgets. Uh, and also, of course, like Wikipedia, you can also, if you know how to code, you can write some user script or ask somebody to help you if it will be helpful for community. For example, I can help you write some browser extension or user script if you have some routine job that wastes your time, you need copy-paste, copy-paste, uh, something like that. User script can help you. I will show later some examples. A lot of, as you, uh, uh, yesterday uh, Asaf told that uh, Wikimedia is great about hiding tools. We have many, many, many tools. User script also, third party tools on some GitHub repos that even sometimes difficult to find, some integrations. Uh, for example, did you know that, for example, for dark table, somebody wrote plugin to uploading of uh, images from dark table is a popular media manager on Mac, Windows and Linux. But I tried, it looks like it didn't work, but maybe it's already fixed. And also for with open refine, it's possible to upload uh, files to commons and this other, uh, <clears throat> other software. For example, I plan uh, to write telegram bot that it will be possible to send messages to Telegram and write categories and it will be automatically published to Commons. As I try to research, such bot not exists. I think it can be very useful. So also I recommend uh, to check this page. As I said, Wikipedia and Commons have this. Uh, you can search by Wikipedia user script, uh, Commons user script by categories, many, many, you need hours, you need maybe a few days to uh, check. It can be useful for your cases, for uploading, creating, to connect some services, uh, to add some buttons. If you see on this page, we have uh, these buttons just to scroll up, scroll down. I don't need them, but uh, looks like they enabled for this page, maybe as example. Uh, and also, I want to show you that, yes, we have browser extensions, we have user scripts, uh, uh, 
we have browser extensions to manage user scripts and styles I will show later but also it's interesting that in preferences maybe you know this yes we have skins and after skins we have shared CSS JavaScript for all sites for all skins and for all wikis so you can put custom CSS custom JavaScript right here and you can change for example how Wikipedia looks for example you can hide some elements that you don't need for example for, for 10 years you upload some photos and you don't want to see some block on the page please think about licenses you already know this and you can you won't hide this but there is no such option you can write css one line css selector uh, display none or somebody can help you in community i can help you or maybe such user script already exists user style user script and uh, as we have this in preferences on the website itself it means that for example on safari on ipad you cannot install browser extensions on safari on ipad for example and, but you can put some css some javascript here it means that using any browser any device even on, on smart tv you can if you log in, in into your account you can have some differences how wikipedia looks and javascript that can change something okay what next uh, okay time to show i spent a few years and still i maintain my custom theme for wikimedia wikipedia wikidata boom i have this bigger font uh, height left uh, sidebar because i don't need it uh, i have uh, on wikipedia we have hotkeys and uh, and uh, yes I, I still have some buttons at the top here uh, for, and uh, at the left th the most useful it's languages that I have but uh, because I have no left sidebar usually I moved the language selection to the bottom maybe difficult to see and uh, languages that I understand uh, I increased their font size so with CSS we can something hide something highlight uh, and usually I read Wikipedia like this uh, usually on my screen it looks better it's contrast that I prefer everything is great for me um, but sometimes of course uh, I find some visual problems when Wikimedia they change some HTML or CSS it's broke a little bit and I adapt uh, <clears throat> and uh, also as I see on uh, on some pages uh, we have a lot of custom CSS and uh, sometimes I, I adapt to it but usually it works for me uh, this is how Wikidata looks for me also again I don't need left sidebar but uh, as I found exists some user scripts maybe even gadget I don't know where we can get the button here you can click it will be height click again it will be toggle button uh, but usually it's my wiki data how it looks like uh, also you see if it's Firefox itself also totally black and uh, I like it when uh, absolutely black browser and black page background at the night it's uh, great maybe of course nobody like it you can make it pink for example with rainbows as you want ah, about rainbows let's it, it's called browser ex extension called stylus for Firefox and other browsers multiple such browser extensions exists on uh, your uh, for example for Firefox it's addons Mozilla org on for Chrome Google Chrome another store you can type user style what you can see styles recommended extension and uh, uh, I use this I'm not sure about others but multiple options exist even without browser extension at all it's possible to uh, as I read maybe it's possible to put uh, your CSS into some browser folder in your, in your profile so let's uh, I will show you not everybody knows click find styles and right here even without without uh, opening other page we can see styles here 
not all of them good, not all of them works because Wikimedia changes sometimes HTML, uh, CSS a little bit, and on screenshot you can see something beautiful, but when you install, you can get some broken something. You can re report to authors, you can uh, read comments. If you click userstyles.world, uh, somebody and if I log in, sign in, uh, you can uh, send uh, reviews. And uh, about security, so CSS uh, code like this uh, uh, is very secure. Of course, nothing is perfect, but uh, it's much safer than JavaScript. Uh, it's, it's, it's about style. So it's, it's safer than JavaScript if you think about security. But I remember that still I read that some, with some CSS it was possible to uh, detect what you type. And with the CSS it's, uh, it was sending your types into some remote server. But usually it's uh, secure. Uh, so what else? Find styles. Also you can install multiple uh, at the same time. As you see, usually they black or dark. As you know, on Wikipedia we already have official dark mode. But for me, I still prefer my user script without left sidebar and with some custom things that I need. Uh, what we have here, for example, for example, something like this, if you want. Wikipedia reading, something like this. Oh, something pink. You can set any logo if you want. Uh, also, this cat. Uh, some anime. Now, background. Oh, yes, you see. So. You can learn yourself CSS if you don't know, or you can use existing, or somebody can help you with it. You see a lot of, because it's Wikipedia's popular website, and we have many, many themes here. Uh, you can use this browser extension not only for Wikipedia, for, for any website. If it's pretty popular, high chances that already somebody wrote CSS for it, oh, background not loading. Okay, and also if you click find styles or on the CS user styles word, just on this website you can type Wikipedia and 140 results, and you can see from here. Order sort by rating, most installs, for example, to have better results. And if you will try to write, to write CSS, please check that already maybe somebody wrote the same CSS or JavaScript that you want, because it's a big community and it's uh, said that after a few days of work you find that somebody already had this. Okay, what else? Is this GitHub? Repo, I have only 14 stars, you can contribute, you can use this uh, user style with some additional JavaScript. Uh, okay, this is how the CSS looks like. Uh, it's manually written for many years. So it's you can see with specified domain, so for example, wiki source. For wiki source, I want to highlight this, hide this, change color of this. Uh, or some specific pages, for example, or on comments, I will show later or during uploading. I want to have, for example, bigger thumbnails, bigger previews. I love that, it's useful, because when I type description, when I upload a lot of photos, I don't remember what on this very small, very tiny photo. With CSS, you can have it bigger, because browser already downloaded original big photo from your computer. But uh, original style Wikimedia Commons shows very, very small. 
during uploading. For example, also display none. No. Yes, for example, display none. It's all selectors that I don't want to see. They pointless for me. Uh, for example, footer on every page. I don't need them. If once per month I need them, I can make one click to disable my theme and see everything in original style. Okay. And now, main topic of my talk about this website. Uh, name of this topic is about integration of museum websites with Wikimedia Commons. And I will show you what I did. It's only a few years old, uh, this Belarusian website about money, bonds, uh, coins, related stuff. Not only money of Belarus, but it's thousands of uh, good high quality scans here, like this. Thousands. 37 pages only in this category and almost every day I plot a few scans, uh, beautiful uh, pictures, for example this one, uh, this is, uh, there is no description but in social networks they have bigger descriptions, uh, for example this one it's interesting 1917, it's, uh, I read that during the time in some territories of uh, Belarus, Russia, Ukraine, and maybe, maybe it's a global phenomenon that in your, when in your country economical system is absolutely broken and you have a war, a revolution, but people, some organizations, they, they still need some type of money and they actually draw manually these papers, manually drawn. So everyone is a little bit different, mainly draw, but uh, real money from 1917. And uh, also about uh, money and about uh, bonds, uh, uh, license of most countries, uh, as I see that it's uh, possible, legally possible to upload uh, current money or some money certificates, coins, or maybe not current, but uh, if this country had these bonds years ago, and Soviet Union as well, or in Russian Empire, of course, it's many, many years. So it's possible, but also it's possible even if after is alive, even if it's not very old. So you see there is no Creative Commons license here, but it's legal. Uh, it's a special license, uh, not public domain, but uh, I will show you. It's special exempt from uh, license of many countries. But the problem, I have a problem here. The problem is, um, uh, I don't remember is it uploaded or not. I don't, really, I don't remember is it uploaded or not. And it's many, many pages, many, many files, and I don't remember. I had this problem, and many, many is popular problem. When you have some website, you upload something, and when many people you coordinate, for example, you will upload this category, you will upload this category, but still uh, people can upload from the same page. Some people that you don't know, they can upload. Maybe right now somebody, I did not upload this one, but maybe somebody right now uploading this file, and. I don't need to upload this again. Yes, I can check related category, but maybe it was uploaded to random category or maybe to, just to another category. I don't know that name. And I have this problem. I need to do something with this. Uh, what to do? Firstly, I tried, of course, uh, maybe you know, maybe not everybody, not every, not everybody know everything. Oops. I don't know why. Uh, exist such browser extensions, multiple of them for, it's called reverse image search. I have this image, right click and for example Google, uh, show me all websites that have this picture. This picture, 
three uh, old rubles and we have some we have some websites oh and even i found wikimedia so ah no it's another one <clears throat> so it looks like i need to upload this or not and uh, we need to waste time trying to scrutinize but yes it's also interesting to look into this and maybe we can find some additional sources of good scans but also it's uh, maybe it's maybe we have but, but maybe it's some error of google that actually we have in common this image but google not found it or it's difficult to see because a lot of files like this they look similar we need manually to check oh this looks like similar to this but no oh this one yes three rubles oh it's another side but maybe it's back side yes of course it's a good instrument but as you see there no way to specify domain here show me please images only from commons in google no such functionality it was google also we have google images another point let's try here maybe it's better uh, okay and images where is images no images doesn't work maybe if i click here no not working but i found that yandex uh, also let's try bing one by one do we have ability to specify domain nothing found nothing uh, slow loading but also i remember that actually this website actually if you try to load some page you will see that it's loading is slow oh it, 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 now it's from cache but let's try page that's not in cache you will see it's slow loading sometimes very slow it's really for me it's one of the reasons to upload to wikimedia commons because some even on good internet connection sometimes i i need minutes to wait this five or ten megabytes to load it's really one of the reasons to upload to commons as a backup and to see this and uh, also it's funny that already for a few times this website was unavailable it's also one of the reasons why to upload to commons because now we have this website tomorrow i don't believe already i know very well that now we have this website but tomorrow maybe not uh, Wiki, wikimedia commons is good that even if we, after 20 years we will got some bad management bad people in commons and they will destroy the project we have backups of commons everybody can download on commons we have in, on Wikipedia also API and uh, a lot of infrastructure of instruments that you can download data of course it's a lot of data images texts and this is for me it motivates me to have uh, backups as well okay what next okay nothing here but I need to find this is this image uploaded or not and I found Yandex originally from Russia Russian company also some results and looks look already looks better already found the same but also some similar but also here I can specify site commons wikimedia org and now we will have only from commons yes not the same but only from commons and the bigger previews with less wasted space uh, good it's already useful but uh, even if we will move more into this i wrote my browser extension At this point you see search in wikimedia commons by hash s h a one what hash is uh, every file on your computer on the internet have hash uh, we have multiple hashes md5 sha uh, 256 and many many others hash is like unique fingerprints if you have two identical files with the same content their hash will be the same files have uh, can, ha can have different file names but if content is the same hash will be also the same 
if even one byte is changed, even if one pixel is changed, hash will be totally different. Not not one symbol, but absolutely different. Hash is maybe like 20 characters and uh, two files with any names have the same hash. But if in images, you know, we can have metadata inside images uh, from photo like location, also if, if you change, if somebody change this metadata of file, it's another uh, bytes and hash will be different. Uh, and I wrote this browser extension, let's click. Now we have working, I can maybe add spinner later to show some progress, it's working in the background using Wikimedia Commons API, looking for the same hash on Wikimedia Commons. Let's wait for result. Maybe somebody already uploaded this file, maybe not. It's slow, maybe it's because it's a big file, 5 megabytes. Usually it works. Live show, I don't like slides. Yes, I have slides as backup, but nothing happens. Maybe something is broken, maybe something is broken. Looks like no. Network, let's try again. Search in Wikimedia Commons by hash. Oh, there is no network call. I don't know why. Usually it works. Yes, it's air conditioner. Yes, for 10 minutes. Maybe it's not air condition, maybe it's from another room, but let's please try. Disable air conditioner. Oh, you see, finally we have this. Not exist, oh, I, I was, not exist in commons. But if, for example, uh, let's try, what to try? I'm not sure, maybe this, I remember I uploaded this. Yeah, thanks. Let's try search in Wikimedia Commons by hash, not by pixels like, like similar to these pixels. Yes, you see? Uh, and I can click and I can open this page and usually it burns my eyes at night. Usually I, I look into this and what's the license? Uh, license, you see? Some special license. Uh, uh, yes, exempt because it's legal, it's from 1990, but it's legal to upload this. Uh, so it's example of integration of museum website or any other website. This browser extension, click, and yes, exactly this file with the same hash, founds and commons. It's also possible that two different files can have the same hash. It's possible, but chances very, 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 very low. And uh, I remember that, uh, okay, uh, it's another story, but just, it's almost 99.999% that uh, you will never in your life have this problem. Usually, if hash is the same, files are the same, different hash, different files. If metadata not changed, for example. Uh, even maybe I can show you in this network. Let's try uh, search. Oh, but no, why nothing here? I don't know why. Okay. Okay, this is examples of integration and also I wrote uh, CLI tools for that. Uh, uh, I can show you these tools. Uh, if I will find this Wikimedia, uh, user scripts, okay, not here, but on GitLab, usually I use GitLab, not GitHub, because GitHub is proprietary, GitLab is open. You can install GitLab on your Raspberry Pi, on your mobile phone, on your server. Uh, I have many repos here. Uh, mm, I don't know why, but not found. Uh, 
Uh, but if I try commons, ah, no, hash. Oh, yes, this one. Also, if you will write some browser extension, some some code project, please think about please think about discoverability. So have think about cell title, description, uh, uh, text. On GitHub, GitLab, it's possible to specify text. I don't have text here. So think about how five years from now people will find your useful projects for them and uh, i will show you it's just a few lines of code Is this one yes by cli commons beginning file by hash uh, how to use this cli name of software space name of your file and you will receive answer is it exists or not if not exists you will receive empty output if it exists uh, you will receive clickable link to these files in common. So, even your, on your local machines, you can use, for example, this simple script, a few lines, <coughs> to check if file with the same hash, the same file, exists on commons. And it will not upload your files. For example, you can f have four gigabytes video file. Uh, this comment will uh, scan your file from hard drive to calculate hash locally and send uh, uh, like 20 characters even if you have very slow internet connection it's, it will work you will receive answer so it's also one of the example how to improve our lives i will close this okay this is for later oops and uh, even more, I have a much better example what I did with this museum website. I was very happy when I did it. Uh, not here, maybe here. Um, It's downsides of don't have slides. Mm. Back, back. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay, let's just go to this category. So, uh, I will open better page. As I remember, page thirty. Yes, for example, for example, here. Oh, you see, slow website. Even if you have fast internet connection, slow their website uh, this page already must be cached yes maybe this one let's wait a little bit sorry uh, huh? oh you remember uh, cached or oh no yes but I want okay for example this one I want to know is it uploaded or not and I wrote code JavaScript and I got excellent functionality uh, this one enable this user script Click, click, yes, reload this page, and wait for a few seconds, 
Now we will have something interesting here. I hope. Let's try again. Uh -huh. uh, oh. Sometimes I need, we need to wait because big files. No. Uh, maybe add blocker. Oh. Huh? Oh no. Huh. Oh yes, you see, you see. You see this one. One two one two one two. Post post no not post. API yes. The same API like I show you for CLI request yes this headers just this URL API action query list all images for images on and hash of every image inside every page. And you see now I have these numbers. Actually, it's links. So I know that inside we have two images, but they gray, no links. It means that not uploaded to comments. If somebody upload to comments, we will have links here. Try maybe on this page. Yes, I remember it should be uploaded. Yes, uh, one, one, but gray. Gray means not uploaded. Uh, maybe on previous page. Yes, must be must be uploaded. Okay, let until when we wait. Trust me. If uh, if if it, if it if it uploaded, we have link here. I can click and open comments file about this uh, one image, two image. If we have if we have ten images inside. I can open this as well. So this is example. Uh, it works only for this website, but already we have a base code. If you want this, uh, we can uh, adjust this to your website. Adjust design if you want, and it can be useful. So this function calculate hash for file without dependencies. Uh, if uh, file with the same hash found in commons put link uh, where is link yes you see ah anchor tag with link if not found just gray uh, text with number it's only like 20 lines of code uh, not uh, not very difficult and we can adapt this to any website and I'm very happy that it uh, greatly improves my performance because when it loads, it's why we upload to comments. When it loads, I can see is it uploaded or not. Okay. Oh, not. After a few minutes, we will check again this web page. Now, something next. I can close this, close this. Okay. Okay, I will show you uh, what I did with the uh, process of uploading. Uh, is it open? Page to upload. Uh, okay. On my bookmarks I have upload. It's useful maybe not everybody knows in Firefox we can type star and it will look into your bookmarks. If not star but this sh shift six how it's called I don't know. Uh, it will look only your history in browser. Uh, as I remember there is no such functionality in Google Chrome but 
in Firefox uh, percent it's uh, search only in open tabs also useful especially if, if you have hundred tabs upload yes upload wizard I have this and you see in URL I have also it was surprise for me some of you may know this but I believe not everybody that we can uh, specify uh, we have pre-fill pre some fields by specifying in URL parameters their values so not all fields but caption description uh, sometimes I have no time for captions but this is a required field and uh, sometimes I said just to do for later and uh, also categories uh, specify here and a uh, few other fields you can have pre-filled pre uh, such special link for you and uh, so when you reboot your computer you can open the same link and uh, 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 it will improve your performance let's try to upload already where is desktop this desktop these two images let's upload them you see 11 megabytes 8 megabytes high quality images I love it when it's still uploading I um, okay let's wait a little bit how it looks originally this page this for example I don't need the steps I know hide this please I don't need this please visit help desk okay hide this please hide left sidebar uh, at the bottom I don't need these links it's yes I know this I know a lot of noise yes now it's better I prefer this once per year once per month I can disable this and still click also again uh, not everybody knows but on Wikipedia on comments we have hotkeys that works even without JavaScript also I have good names this is uh, original name concatenation with uh, uh, title also I forgot to show you another browser extension it's also small oh so, so first problem what we have problem here problem is file name if uh, I save this file file name is not very good My, yes it's also not very bad but I want to have this in file name I tried different approaches and uh, what I did it works for me another simple like five lines of code reload this page you see we have copy button here copy I can I click here and in my uh, clipboard I have uh, title but spaces replaced to underscores and a few other characters it's also improved my performance uh, I love it okay it's uploaded next step how it looks originally like this okay like almost like the same um, uh, uh, what I need to specify source license uh, 1917 that's uh, uh, also another browser extension uh, for example licenses oh it's it's on another computer but uh, if you type something uh, frequently for example email address or licenses you can for example new for example oh, for example this will be my uh, license it's long to type clipping new oh, some problem and uh, later even after computer reboot I can paste the same something to any field um, okay let's now maybe it's okay let's set that uh, uh, sorry but maybe it's wrong license maybe later I will change uh, source uh, are you sure public domain Um, maybe it's not okay Gomer uh, where is public domain and the left maybe okay let's 
try just this, I will change later. I don't know who after is, maybe later we will find this. This step, I told you oh, how to hide this. Big previews, you see, original, original design. Now it's okay, but for example, I need to type text from here. I, I don't see, what, what I don't see? And especially if you have many items here, it's good to, for description to have uh, bigger previews. Yes, I have this browser extension developed, not me, uh, this to have bigger uh, sometimes, but just for any website, but for some reasons, ah, because it's not uploaded maybe yet, it's still on our computer. Uh, click this and in browser I have big previews. You can make it smaller if you want, but it works for me. Everything. I can read it finally. I can type description for it. Again, fields hidden that I don't need. Uh, I can make it black also. Uh, sometimes I experiment with some design elements for me. Uh, I love it also. Another uh, useful stuff date and I see I have this button copy date to next uploads only below so it means that for example uh, before I can have another date it's also also useful also wonderful button you see generate generate description I have button to generate descriptions for files not with artificial intelligence but maybe it's also possible with some API but it's simple case um, for this museum website, uh, for such documents, it's basic case because we have front side and back side. And I want from common page of front sides to have to see also back sides. It's usual case. I click this button, generate description, another site, because the scripts uh, copy uh, file name from Z file, put, put, replace front to back, back to front. And also, later I will put uh, also correct category. Oh, why is this thumbnail is small? I don't know why. Okay, publish files. Uh, ah, here, but why is not copy? I don't know why. Uh, okay, publish files. Wait a little bit. Beautiful images. Oh, also here. Uh, maybe it's not enough time, I will not show you, but also I have user script uh, that shows category right on this page. It's not enabled now, I can see categories. Uh, and uh, here you see uh, with, oh, something is broken, but usually I have here correct uh, file name. And the last one uh, on uploads uh, page. Is it enabled? No, now it's not enabled. Enable this. Reload page. And now you see, now we have file names reloaded. And now we have also categories. For every file, I have all categories of this file right on this page. I love it. Also very useful. Uh, also, it's just, also I want to mention, it's... It's like a bonus, not related to this, but it's also important. Uh, some some of you may not know this project, uh, Zim, Zimit. With this uh, project, you can uh, run locally script and, and may download a website. For example, this moneymuseum.by uh, for a week, it's possible to download this website locally. And also, if it's open, Public, public license uh, and they host the script, they run it automatically once per week, for example, uh, you can read these websites locally. It's also, of course, Wikipedia, of, uh, GentoWiki added by me and other many projects. It's useful also to backup websites and to read it offline. Also, some people publish it to torrent trackers. Uh, torrents, it's not always piracy, but I see that some people upload dumps also of Wikipedia and other projects to Pirates Bay and other uh, websites. Uh, it's also culture preservation. It's also some wiki project about sport. Uh, also, 
some people, including me, applaud also to Torrance um, uh, with uh, images, with something you see, source from commons. And it can be sometimes it's big, also uh, archive forks, you know, many people also upload many, many, for example, old scans to archives, so also I do it as a backup. And also on Wikidata it's possible to specify it into archive work. Uh, like this, you, you see 29 gigabytes of scan, can you imagine this? Everything in commons and everything of in archive folk work with high quality resolution. You see, very beautiful. And not of them still published. Hundreds of such newspapers not scanned and scanned but not published. Published but not uh, on wiki source, we need to have text. Yes, it's, uh, you see we can select but this, but it's not perfect. We need to check this. And the last one, one minute is also as a bonus, important uh, topic for me, really important. It's just a game, yes, just just a game. But what is special? This game, it's, it's related to commons, culture preservation. This game released 20 years ago, and the fact is, this game, Arms of Exiga, nobody sells this game anymore. Not in Steam, not on any platform. Maybe, maybe on eBay you can find some broken CD, maybe, but maybe not. And I found this, really, we lost some books, some music. For example, this game, we, we, you cannot buy this game anymore. You can download this only on torrents. And uh, I will not show you, I, I just uh, tell you that I found uh, after developers, or also I found that this company, developers, not, not exists anymore. Publisher company, not exists anymore. Yes, people alive, most of them. I wrote them, hey, please, I love this game. Please make a remaster or fix some problems because on Windows 11 you cannot run this game. If you have some, some video cards, just usual video card, you can find this, you cannot run this game. And only, uh, uh, yes, already you see this resolution 3, three by 4 this resolution was added by an official patch. Uh, originally we have only 3 by 4 resolution. So I, I wrote to developers, please make it open source, make it free, community, we will fix it, uh, it will be alive, but they told me, oh, public rights not clear, they are too busy developing new games now. They developed this great game 20 years ago and don't care anymore. Okay, and the last, uh, this game, you see even category here, ab abandoned war games. We have many games in this category, and it's very good. I want to tell you, if you know some games that is nobody sell anymore, please maybe write to publisher, developer. Maybe if they don't need this game anymore, maybe they they can give sources and specify license. And uh, the last slide, we have no time. The last slide, also some game. Actually, I never play this game. But also, it's an online game, and then a few years ago they stopped operating this game, Prime World, like Dota. Not excellent, but good game. And some, some people, including me, wrote to head guy of that company, hey, you don't need this game anymore. It's financially, it was bad for you. Uh, you, you don't make, make money from this game. Official website no longer exists. Make it free, give our sources. And it was a win. This guy said yes. And now, uh, looks like it's free. Not completely free, because uh, it's uh, by license. We cannot use this for business, for making money, but we have sources and you can fix, improve. And uh, after 20 years, we will have Windows 15 this game will still run because uh, people from all over the globe, like Wikipedia, will be able to fix it, adapt it, port to another operating system. Yes, so we have not enough time. Sorry, maybe questions later, because absolutely no time. But when next uh, guy replaces laptop, I can maybe answer your questions about anything. Scripts, CSS, Archive fork torrents, uh, 
Yes. Yes. No, so 2010, because I started my this same five years ago. Yes. Yes, I, I, I told some on related pages about about just about dark theme, and yes, I believe you know we talk about artificial intelligence, but on many websites they still have problems with just the markup. It's crazy, and yes, for example, I can imagine that on Wikipedia we can have some checks box like pro mod uh, that will hide blocks about license so like uh, also please don't upload random files think about license yes i know this you can disable this or maybe you can have checks box from just many many options but on desktop on, on browser i mean uh, if you have desktop application it's difficult to change it but on web we can change how this website looks and uh, we can add buttons yes I, i'm finished uh, yeah, because yes next next guy can yeah. Also, if you have some ideas for you, for your community, maybe I can help you with code if it if it improves your performance. If